Is Tesla buying a stake in Argo blockchain stock? In today's video, we're gonna address the rumors. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Ali. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. On Friday, shares of Argo blockchain stock exploded over double digits because of a potential rumor that Tesla was gonna buy a stake in this company. Now, all of this is a rumor, nothing is confirmed. So in today's video, I'm gonna break down all the details that we have to have a better understanding if this is actually a legitimate rumor or just pure speculation. Argo blockchain trades under two ticker symbols. It trades under ARBKF, which is on the over-the-counter market in the US dollar, and it also trades on the London exchange as ARGO. The difference in prices has to do with the difference in currency. ARBKF trades under the US dollar and ARGO trades under the penny sterling. For those of you that are not familiar, Argo blockchain is a crypto miner that is based in London, but has a lot of new operations happening in the US. Texas specifically, which coincidentally is also where Tesla is shifting a lot of their resources and a lot of their focus, AKA Giga Texas. Let's expand on why these rumors have gained so much traction over the past day or two. If you've been in the cryptocurrency space for a couple of months, you're no stranger to the intense volatility that we've had as a result of Elon Musk's tweet. This tweet specifically sent the cryptocurrency market into a spiral, a downwards spiral. He says, when there's confirmation of reasonable 50% clean energy usage by miners with positive future trend, Tesla will resume allowing Bitcoin transactions. This is only a small piece to the puzzle. Now his tweet did shift a lot of focus on crypto miners to become more sustainable and more green. Renewable resources did become the main attraction for a lot of investors into this space. This is where the whole rumor that Argo blockchain and Tesla could come into partnership. And again, this is not confirmed. As we established, Tesla is shifting a lot of their resources and their focus to Texas, as we know, through Giga Texas. We also know that Argo blockchain is also shifting a big portion of their resources to Texas. The company even released a statement about this. They said specifically that Bitcoin mining firm Argo blockchain takes out a $20 million loan to build out its Texas facility. And I'll be posting this below for you guys to check out the details. We also know that Elon Musk is shifting his priority to make sure that a lot of these Bitcoin and crypto miners are going more green and using more sustainable sources for their consumption. Know that Argo blockchain is investing heavily in green energy. An article posted on March the 31st of 2021 says, London Stock Exchange listed block reward mining operator Argo blockchain PLC has announced it is partnering with a Canada-based DMG blockchain solutions to launch TerraPool, an allegedly environmentally friendly Bitcoin mining pool powered by sustainable energy. Matter of fact, the CEO of Argo, Peter Wall, even specified and went on to say, addressing climate change is a priority for Argo and partnering with DMG to create the first green Bitcoin mining pool is an important step towards protecting our planet now and for generations to come. As you can see, Elon Musk and the CEO Peter Wall are on the same page when it comes to sustainable energy. Now the stars may seem to be aligning for Argo blockchain, but I would caution a lot of you guys. We know that Elon Musk is looking for miners to become more sustainable and use more green energy. We know that Argo blockchain is moving a lot of their resources to Texas, just like Tesla is. And we know that both CEOs have the same mindset and the same outlook when it comes to renewable resources. On paper, it seems like they could be a perfect fit. But we need to be very cynical about this. And again, don't make investment decisions based on rumors. I would caution you guys against that. Of course, keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor, so take everything I tell you with a grain of salt. I'm just some random bald Arab guy that's talking to you guys on the internet. So let's break down the issue with this whole rumor and a big reason why I think it's not something that we should put a lot of weight into. And I know that's gonna bug a lot of you guys. Let's start off with where the rumor originated and it came from a tweet. The tweet was posted by a user called Elushi. And he says, Argo rumor has it that Tesla just bought a stake in Argo blockchain. And on the 26th of July, when they release their earnings, they will also be announcing that they are getting into mining Bitcoin using solar panels from Solar City. This mainly comes from the banning of China in mining efficiency, exceeding Tesla's requirements of 50%. Rumor also has it it will be merging with DMGI. Just a rumor though, don't report me again, D heads. Okay, so let's dig in a bit deeper to this. Someone posted, a source, could you provide us with a source? And he says, if there was a source, I wouldn't say it's a rumor. We do know that Argo blockchain is gonna go in partnership with DMGI blockchain. However, that's where the similarities end. There's no confirmation about Tesla actually buying a stake in this company, but let's take it a bit further. And I really need to stress this portion of the tweet. Just a rumor though, don't report me again. 
So it looks like this user has previously posted misinformation uh, in a past time. And I think he's really protecting himself from people attacking him once again. So from the looks of it, this user is really not a credible source for us. And the biggest thing is there are no sources to this leak. There's just nothing. This is a red flag from the get-go, but let's go a bit further. There are absolutely no hints, no suggestions, or no announcement from Peter Wall, the CEO of Argo, from Tesla, or from Elon Musk. There's absolutely nothing to indicate that this is gonna happen now or in the future at all. Even if we go onto Twitter and we look at the correspondence between Elon Musk and Peter Wall and any of the tweeters, there's absolutely no correspondence to give us any site, any site or any hint of anything happening. There is very little at all to substantiate this claim and this rumor. I even checked both websites, Tesla and I checked Argo blockchain. There's no information, no news about anything. So we know off the bat that there's absolutely no strength and no credibility behind this claim, but the stock still went up. In my opinion, I think it has to do with the technicals, not so much of the rumor. Let me go a bit deeper into that. Now, here's the thing. Obviously on Friday, this rumor could have impacted a big reason why the stock was up, but I do believe that the technicals could give us some insight as to why this happened. Let me break down the reasons why I think from a technical standpoint, why Argo blockchain stock rallied on Friday. Let's get right into it. The website that I'm about to use is called tradingview.com and this is a free tool for a lot of new investors to get a bit more familiar with technical analysis. This video is not monetized and I'm not sponsored. I'm not being paid to say this. This is honestly a tool that I've been using on a daily basis. Let's get right into the technicals. I'm gonna focus on RSI support levels and we're also gonna talk about short interest. From February, Argo blockchain has lost around 70% of its total value, give or take, which is a huge decline over a span of a couple of months. And this really has to do with investors leaving the crypto space and because of crypto assets and cryptocurrencies depreciating so heavily in price. And as of July the 15th, we saw that Argo blockchain closed at a price of around $1.15 USD. I think the reason that we saw such a huge spike in price has to do with short interest, or in other words, shorts covering their positions. The first reason I say this, because in my opinion, I believe that Argo blockchain stock reached a very significant level of support. I'm gonna draw a line right here on the chart so you can see this a bit more effectively. This line in red indicates a very strong level of support. As we mentioned, the stock had dropped around 70% from the highs in February all the way down to $1.15, and this is where we, where we saw the strongest level Level of support. That means that the likelihood of us seeing a bounce at that level was very, very high. And on top of that, RSI gives us a fantastic indication about the status of the company and the stock and whether or not it was at a very steep discount or if it was considered to be expensive. Let's take a look at the one year level. If we go on the one year time frame, as you guys can see, the stock at July the 15th was considered to be oversold, meaning that the stock at that point was considered to be at a discount. If we go to the six month time frame, which is a bit closer, we can see that the stock was incredibly oversold. It was at a steep discount on the six month time frame. Let's go to the three month time frame. With the three month time frame, we see the exact same thing. Not only are we sitting at that exact level of support, but at that specific moment in time, we were also incredibly oversold. So we're sitting at a very important level of support, meaning that, meaning that the likelihood of a balance was gonna be very high. And on top of that, at that point in time, the stock was considered to be incredibly discounted. What I also wanna bring your attention to is the amount of short interest. The website that I'm using is called fintel.io. When it comes to Argo blockchain PLC, which is based in the United Kingdoms, as you see here on the 15th of July, remember we closed at a low on $1.15 on July the 15th, we were at 13.16% short interest. On the 16th, we were at 3.63, a significant amount of shorts had covered their position. To sum everything up and why I think we've seen a move in Argo blockchain stock on Friday, Number one, I believe that the rumors did excite a lot of investors to have a bit more attention on this stock. Argo blockchain also reached a significant level of support, meaning that the likelihood of a bounce was gonna happen. On top of that, we saw shorts covering their position. And finally, the RSI had indicated that the stock was at a very steep discount at that point in time. All these factors into play meant that the stock was going to see some level of a recovery. In my opinion, the rumors are not justified. We don't have enough information or facts to give us any indication that Tesla is gonna buy a stake in this company. Be very careful with this, guys. Make sure that when you do see rumors, they can be overly hyped on the forums and on website and on YouTube, but you have to be a bit more critical and dig deeper into this. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I want to keep this video nice and brief, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.